Hello, hello, hello there, everyone. Welcome to Bigfoot Tarot. Uh, thank you guys for those of you who uh, have joined in. But guys, I am... I guess I'm not just showing these cards and everything. Um, but yes, so I am um, here to do another reading with you guys. This reading, um, guys, before I tell y'all what it is, it's like... So much stuff has been going on in like my neighborhood like just weird stuff like around my house neighborhood whatever and so um you know it just kind of got me like what's really going on like my tire keep going on a flat keep in mind i took it to find out what's wrong with it nothing they say there's no reason why my tires should keep going on the flat. My tires are practically brand new. Okay. Last night I could have sworn I heard like walking on the roof. Um, then like people like coming. It's like just weird. It's just really, really, really weird stuff that keeps happening. Um, just weird. So I don't know if some of you guys are experiencing this. But I just wanted to do a collective read on the like the neighbors, neighborhood, what's going on. So first we're gonna uh I know it's a collective read, but we're gonna get like, like some of the characteristics of the neighbors. Then we're gonna get um what you need to know what you need to and what you need to be aware of if there's anything to be aware of. You know, sometimes things just happen, you know, but I know being that this is a collective message, I'm, I know somebody, you know, is probably experiencing some things with, you know, your neighbors, the neighborhood or whatever. Um, so with that being said, I've already uh, prayed and everything before the reading, but of course, on camera, God, um, God, Jesus, Holy Spirit, welcome you, welcome, 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 uh, ancestors, angels, spirit guides of the white light, welcome, welcome, welcome. There was no reason why I separated God, Jesus, and Holy Spirit, angels, ancestors, spirit guides, no reason whatsoever. Guys, another thing is, I put a karmic read, first of all, the last what three video four videos that i posted i've been did those videos since wednesday and thursday of last week the last one just not the last one because one is still uploading as a karmic uh video it's coming and it's been uploading since thursday so when y'all see my videos my videos are really like five days old before you guys see them the ones of you who have been watching and for those of you who have been watching thank you but my videos are like five days uh old by the time sometimes by the time you guys see them some of them they um download immediately some of them do not some of them do not and these last four i want to say it took a minute for them to download like the first one I had did that reading like two three days prior to when it was uploaded so just an FYI all right and so it says it's like a cycle it, uh, at the bottom of the deck uh, we're getting the reading started guys at the bottom of the deck we have oh there's a cycle ending maybe someone was trying to come against like your creativity you know your love or something like that but that cycle is coming to an end whoever was uh doing that i don't know what, what would that have to do with the neighborhood but all right so the characteristics of uh, yeah these cards i forgot these cards are like jumbo oh look at my nails oh well i just i'll get them hooked up uh before thanksgiving but the characteristics of uh <laughs> of any of the uh, neighbors that you need to be concerned with. What are some of the characteristics? 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 A knight of swords. Ah. 
So this is a person who comes in with like overwhelming communication. This could be somebody who always has something like negative to say or don't realize that what they're saying it has like con like their their words have consequences to it. They just say things that is kind of reckless. And this person is like considered like a game master, like they play games. Like they the words that they come in uh in with is like puzzling, like what it is like word witchery, like what they saying is only to kind of like overwhelm you and upset you. Could be a man, um, because the knight is a man. But if this is a man, this is a man that acts very uh childish. He child he had like a teenager or something. Um so what what do you need to know about this uh neighbor? What do you need to know about this neighbor? Uh that they adapting to change, um juggling. They're juggling, uh trying to balance out I guess the change that's happening in their life. So there could be a lot of change that's happening in this person's life. And this person could have did something to you. They are juggling with even coming in wanting to apologize and maybe, you know, give you a little gift. Maybe like some alcohol or something. Like wanting to celebrate with you, whoever this <laughs> maybe is. Like y'all could be like friends. You <laughs> see? Okay, that's that's a little weird. All right, so what is the what is it to be aware of with this neighbor? This neighbor is at a crossroads and is very worried about some type of contract or collaboration that they did to maybe make a situation better or to control a situation. To control a certain situation. So, okay, so let's see. Give me, clarify the Knight of Swords as to, I keep trying to, yeah, this person is like, whoever this person is, they're excited to start a new, like a new journey or something. Like, um, this person could be very political, um, this person also, uh, oh, this person seems like they attracted to you. <laughs> Wait, y'all. I'm sorry. This person is like attracted to you. Um, and they want to come in quick, fast, and in a hurry with this conversation. And you might think that they mean harm by, but they don't. It's just that this person want to take action really really quick and they are afraid of being like disappointed they're afraid that you like if they come in you know give you conversation like it's gonna be a disappointment yeah look with the ace of damn cups now you know this person could be a little toxic though whoever this person is um, I don't know if you rejected this person or something, but they kind of like in their feelings and they, uh, acting in a way that's like not good, not good. All right. When it comes to you, what do you need to know about this person? Like I said, definitely this person wants to balance out whatever you and this person could have got into it. Or something that I got into it with this particular neighbor. Okay. 
have. Uh, yeah, this person wants to have victory with you and wants like um wanted to be publicly known that you guys are balanced and that y'all are um one this person also uh you and this like whoever this is resonating with you and whoever this person is y'all then hooked up hooked up that's what I get. This person is looking like, um, like wanting to balance out. Maybe like they were in a mindset of, or to, they was actually taking actions like towards doing things in a way that um, they knew to do it, um, the traditional way. Um, and it seems like that's probably what got you two kind of like at odds with each other and now this person is wanting to come in and apologize and make everything look though didn't these two cards just pop out give equal love to the situation and start new start new this person wants to create new love with you how the hell did this turn into a love reading i'm gonna do another neighbor message but i'm gonna i'm gonna finish this one for whoever needs to hear it um also um what you need to be aware of is this person this person is going through it and they're trying to find peace so that they can come in and heal this situation and gain sh the strength that they need to make the situation work. Give me something on the strength card. Oh. Yeah, this person could have, um, could be like greedy, um, stingy, um, could see that you have a need for something and instead of helping you, that's probably what I got into it for, instead of uh, helping you, they uh, would rather they go back and think about like, well, you know, I done helped out all these people in the world and I never got nothing back in return. So why should I help? And it could be, it don't have to be monetary. It could be like time. It could be um, just, you know, um, just, to have a conversation to have some compassion um that's what this person likes this person likes compassion understanding and uh bravery so this person is kind of like wanting you to just basically understand yeah they want you to take the action they want you to be the one to initiate this uh apology and y'all uh coming back being uh friends hookups sneaky links whatever y'all was doing they want uh you to be the one to do it yep they holding up all of the train guys. when the train pass that mean i'm on the money <laughs> So yeah, they um they want you to be the one to initiate this. Yeah, this person is like watching you like a hawk. They're watching you, studying you, getting educated on you. Like they want to know what's really going on. What are you hiding? It's something that they think that you're hiding uh, from them. Like are you like you being deceptive? Probably thinking that you're messing with somebody or. I don't know. This seems more like a love read. I might not even uh, title this as a neighbor read. But I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it. Um, yeah, this person is all in their head for nothing. For nothing. They're all in their head for nothing. What they're thinking is happening is actually not happening. It's just in. they are definitely in their head. 
Yeah, and this person is going to come to realize that um, the devil was having a field day with them. And then they're going to walk away from that toxic mentality that they have. Give the enlightenment that they need. And they're going to bring you happiness. Uh, as a friend, as a bar friend, whatever the situation. I said bar friend because the Knight of Swords popped out. All right. Yeah, this person is holding on. This person uh, is holding on to power. Like they power struck. Like they uh, try to use their finances to overpower people. Well, I'm going to leave that alone because this is, I, I wasn't expecting this. So I'm going to leave that alone. But they probably spend their money on like um, fast women and stuff like that too. But they use it to control because it's starting to, uh, whoever this person is, is starting to pick up their whole entire life and I wasn't, again, I wasn't expecting this, but I'm going with the flow because, you know, hey, I prayed before I did this reading and this is what's coming out. So that's what I'm, I'm, I'm going with it. All right. So this person is very concerned. I knew it. I knew, I knew it. I knew it. I knew it. I knew it with loving you whoever is watching this yeah this person is in damn despair like what to do what to do yeah something has ended something has ended <laughs> okay all right and so What do, when in terms of the collective, what does this person need to know about the neighbor? This person wants to change for the better. They are a little stuck, but they, you know, you know, they want to change, which is why they want to balance out and come in and have this success and victory with you. That's sweet. All right. Um, what to be aware of? Oh. The spiritual community? Eh? Why the spiritual community? Or... Uh, or the community, whoever the uh, whoever you got, all oh, the, the the maybe the name the other neighbors. They are going to be firing shots at this. Oh, they wanted to end with regret and bad health, and could be working hard to stop this. Oh, so this takes a turn. So, okay, I got it. I got it because, you know, y'all be having me like, what? Collective. You've been dealing with, the dealt, dealing, whatever the situation may be, with, a neighbor whether it's friendship or beyond but whatever the case may be you have neighbors surrounding who are not happy about this or maybe they are let me clarify let me clarify they, they might hold this and uh well no that's to be aware 
We're in the be aware section. So no, they're not happy with this. But I still want to clarify this community. Give me some in this community. Or it could be your family. Well, no, it's not family. It's, it's the neighborhood. Yeah, some type of deception that's going on. Something is being hidden. And it's like they're making it look like it's an illusion. Like it, like maybe it's spirit that's doing this. But whatever the case may be, stand your ground. Stand your ground on this situation. Because this is an opportunity from God. And then we have... Yeah, because it's causing whoever this person is to be in their head. About why did this cycle end? So, okay. So that's what it is. Collective you, whoever this message is for, is doing something with this neighbor you and this neighbor whatever you guys are doing it's upsetting the neighborhood like I don't know if something was planned like some type of deception was planned and then this came and threw a curveball in the mix but yeah and so let's see give me some on her on her I'm like, because where is he going? This don't seem like, like, what? What is up? Look, huh? Told you. Look what popped out. Let me make sure you see. Yeah. So, yeah. These, this community is trying to ruin your happiness. Yeah, they're manifesting heartbreak. Can't make it up. Cannot make it up. Whoever's in this community, they are manifesting heartbreak for you and whoever this person is. Okay, now we got it. Thank you, spirit. Yeah, but look, this is how you and this person uh, have to be. Y'all got to be a team. Y'all have to be a team because there's a lot of chaos, conflict, magic, messiness that's going on. Yeah, y'all have to be a team for this situation. And not rivalries. These neighbors are in competition with uh with whoever's watching this uh, this video. You have some uh, competition that you probably <laughs> not even aware of. These people could be watching you like a hawk, videoing you. Hmm. the filmmaker like they sit inside the house all day and video you or watch you or something like that to see if this new opportunity is going to happen with this emperor yeah all right so anything else needs to be clarified this reading was kind of Rocky at first, but then it, it started to unfold. Um, let's see. I'm going to use the ancestor uh, that says the spiritual community came up. All right. Um, ancestors, what do you, you guys have to say about this person? Um, that is... The neighbor that yeah. 
Christ. <laughs> so it says, whoever this person is, um, they need to retreat and recharge. So this person has a lot on their plate. Um, and they need to take a break. Uh, and just kind of woosa. As you can see. They need to like woosa. Whether it's prayer, meditation, whatever the case may be. If it's even just to lay in the bed and just woosa and sleep. Whatever the case may be. But this is more spiritual. This person needs to do some spiritual uh, relaxation. Uh, also, this person needs to let go of the need to be right. Every situation is not always about being right. Because the need to be right is uh, causing this person a lot, a lot of trouble. And trust in the unknown because God is over this situation. Or you can have an older... Um, male ancestor because these are ancestor cards that is watching over this and is saying that trust in what you don't believe or what you think is not gonna work and then look mother of earth feel love and comfort it so whoever this person is watching, this person uh, doesn't seem to have much love for themselves. I'm saying who watching you, the neighbor who's he is watching. This person don't have um, a lot of uh, love or, or woman love. It seems like they haven't been loved properly by a woman. But. The ancestors want this person to know that, uh, to feel love and comfort it. Yeah, my neighbor messages always be like off the charts. So, collective for you when it comes to this situation, what does the ancestors want you to know? Write down your fears and your desires, dream and journey. And stand your ground. I can't make it up. I can't make it up. So for this situation, um, track down your fears and your desires. So whatever it is that you are fearing, collective, um, be honest with yourself. Hey, this is what I fear. No matter what it may be, this is what I fear. And track it down like grab it you see how this uh man is like a ram we know rams they go for it face the fears face the fears and the desires welcome them let these desires come in it's okay to have desires and it's okay to tackle your fears and then it says dream and journey so you might do well with listening to like drums or something of that um nature <coughs> and dream you might be even be a dreamer too whoever um is in the collective you might be a dreamer write your dreams down write your dreams down and that way you can track down these fears and you they welcome your desires and then it says mountains. We know with mountains, a mountain goat don't move. Mountains don't move. So stand your ground in this situation. If you feel that, hey, I want this situation with this person, do it. If you feel, you know, like there's, if you're fearful of what, people are going to think with the community or the, uh, the, your spirit team and all of that face those fears and figure out what it is that's causing this yeah make plans and focus stay focused and, and if that's what you want let it happen you know alright and then what to be aware of 
Yeah, see them from a higher perspective. Eagles soar. They don't just uh, stay there and allow things to just happen. I want to read this one. It says, um, oh, move beyond ancestral patterns. So with this spiritual community and this deception and manipulation and everything, move beyond whatever you think that these people um are doing or throwing at you you can move beyond that because you whoever is watching this you have a spirit team yourself utilize your spirit team and ain't that the truth they saying come on i'm here utilize them and see things from a higher perspective and stop you know just thinking that um Everything is just so mediocre. Think grand. If, it, if that's what you desire, if that's what you want, who gives a crap what people think? What's for you is for you, and no matter what they throw at it, it they can't stop nothing. I still want to move beyond uh, the elder. I'm drawn to read uh, what it says. Okay, here it goes. It says, move beyond ancestral patterns. Move beyond the limitations that have been set for you by family members past and present. Know that the energy of your spirit is more powerful than the genetics or behavioral patterns. It says, the Arb Arboriginals, the Aboriginal people are the oldest tribal people still living on the planet Earth. The hunter-gatherer culture and ancient spirituality are rooted in tradition and balance with the earth. So if the aboriginal ancestors are offering you not only wisdom that will help you, if the ab so if the, so the aboriginal ancestors are offering you not only wisdom that will help you heal and adapt to ever changing to the ever changing planet, but also an understanding of what a spiritual life should be. So I think that this is for that person. This is for um, that person. I think spirit has been dealing with this person and they've been concerned about what others is gonna think. Like what, their, what they grew up knowing the beliefs and stuff that they have. Or like what this community um, is gonna think. Because collective, you could be somebody that's real spiritual your neighbors know that if you're dealing with somebody in the neighborhood guess what they probably have an influence on this person and this person is like concerned about what they're going to think and like okay she's not going to uh bible study three times a week like what tradition says we should do and i don't know why that's been coming up a lot in uh these readings with my readings with uh this tradition get off of it all right so then it says the elder is the ancestor who comes with the message of healing change he is an embodied soul yet he has had journeys that go beyond the physical therefore he represents the reclamation of power reclamation of power when he appears it is a is a, it is an acknowledgement that you have the capacity to move beyond your limitations that have been placed upon you if you have had expectations of success failure sadness or even sickness placed upon you by your family it is important to know that you are here to create your own story this card represents personal healing that will bring healing to your family lineage, past, present, and future. Know that you get to decide what you take on. And also know that your ancestors are rooting for you and you and are sorry for any setbacks they have created for you. Oh, wow. Okay. So, 
with that being said um we gotta move beyond um some of the things that we were taught uh just because we were taught those things that doesn't mean that that's the way or the path that god has for us that's why it's good to know god for yourself you have to know who and whose you are you are a child of the most high know what it is that he wants for you i'm gonna share this with you guys right quick before i uh end this message but i can remember this is when this was years ago i was into church really really heavy not knocking church because i feel like with spirituality it's like you're in order to grow some somewhere along the lines like somebody has to plant the seed somebody has to water the seed somebody you know it's different ways that we grow as people and so for me church was well actually a cousin that i have she planted the seed but then church was what uh oh well, she got the saw and then church was what was the seed or whatever so um when it came to church i can remember being in church and i had a pastor who would tell us like if even if you go to the club you was going to hell if you go to um if you drink alcohol, you're going to hell. If you do just anything, anything that you did that wasn't what the church did, you was going to hell. And so, um, back in the day, I was a clubber, okay? I would go to the club, you hear me? So, um, I, was, I wasn't, I guess, delivered from the church at that point. So, I was tweaking to go out. I was like, Lord, I'm a good person. I just like the club. I like the, and I like the ratchet clubs too. So I was like, I just like the club. I just like the club. And so, so I, I prayed, I prayed. I was like, God, I was, y'all was even crying. Like, oh my God, I don't know, you know, cause I really, I love God with all my heart, but I don't want him to send me to hell. I'll be mad at me if I, you know, if I, go to the club or whatever or go to it was it was like a a mardi gras party or ball or whatever and so i was like and i really you know and we was going to the club afterwards so i was like and i don't want you know god to be mad at me because you know y'all know they say mardi gras is the devil and all of that so i prayed i prayed so i was like oh lord let me get my bible and flip to it let me get my bible and flip to it what do i flip to the verse in the bible where it was talking about uh, Queen Vashti, and I can't think of the king name, but he would have an annual party every year for his uh, his staff and everything. And so um, it was saying, you know, like, go, enjoy yourself, have your feel, just don't overdo it. And I was like, oh, my God, you know, thank you or whatever. So I say all of that to say this. At times, you know, we be thinking that God, you know, we, we get taught all of these things of what God want us to do. But if we don't get to know God for ourselves, then there's a lot of things that we miss out on. God didn't have a problem with me going and enjoying myself. He knew who I was and everything. Matter of fact, all it did was allowed him and at the time I didn't know about spirit angels gods and everything and they came and protected me and i had a darn good time and it was well needed so with that being said we have to move beyond ancestral patterns and teachings and stuff that people tell us some of the stuff that they teach is very good very good but that's why you have to know god for yourself again you got to know who you are and you have to know whose you are and once you get that Hey, it ain't nothing that really nobody could tell you because if God says so, who going to say it's not? So with that being said, I'm going to end this reading. You guys have a blessed night and be blessed. And oh, y'all, don't forget to like, subscribe, share, comment. Thank y'all.